Today is December 18th, and I think it's supposed to stay below freezing all day today. Maybe the only day this year that'll happen. And I think I got eh, 27, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll call that 27. I don't even think it's even going to reach 30 later today. So let's see what the starting mileage is going to be. Beginning mileage, 21529.8. 21529.8. I'm going to take you on a little different route today, and we're going to go by my childhood home. Not really so much childhood, but my home I lived in during my teen years, the last house I lived in with my parents before I moved out on my own. This will be on the far east side of town. And I had one of my best friends live down this street right here, just uh, about five blocks away from where I lived at the time when I started high school. Which my high school doesn't really exist as a high school anymore, it's a middle school, but it's still functioning as a school. And these are circle around streets, they're horseshoes, so you'll see two of each street name as we come up, like this is Plymouth, there'll be two of them, there'll be Kingston, there'll be, uh, what else? We used to call them, I don't know why, because not all of them relate to this, but we used to call them the cigarette streets. Marlboro, well, yeah, because of Marlboro, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's what we used to call them, the, all the different cigarette streets. Although, my old street, I never heard of a cigarette brand like my old street. It's called Endicott. I have no idea who's living in the house now. My dad sold it a long, long time ago. But I did drive by a few weeks ago and they did change the outside color of it. I think they put different siding on it. Unless they painted the siding, but I think it's more likely they just put different siding on it. But they kept some of the features my dad added to it on the porch. He added some little corner decorations and different things on the front porch to it. That was another one of my real close friends lived in this tall house here, this two-story. He lives out in California now. And then see this gray two-story here. This, Yeah, they put new siding on it. And they also matched the siding to the garage back there. This front part used to actually be the garage. And see all that little decorative stuff on the porch? Those little uh, corner decorations? He put those on there. And that railing and everything. They kept that. Been taking really good care of it. Yeah, they redid the roofs too. They put a lot of money into it. Taking really good care of it. No idea who they are though. So anyway, the subject I wanted to talk about today was something that has bugged me forever and ever, and I've never made a video on it, I don't think. It's uh, when people say something just based on emotions, and if you look at the statement logically, it's about as ridiculous a statement as you could possibly make. That's when people say, um, we need to do this, we need to make this rule, we need to pass this law. Because if it saves just one, and name your victim you want to, if it saves just one child, if it saves just one disabled veteran, if it saves just one handicapped person, this rule or law will be worth it. That is about as ridiculous as ridiculous can be. Now, I don't know, maybe somebody can justify and make a video justifying what is logical about that, but we do not make any kind of rules or laws in this society in general based on that as being any kind of a logical premise. If we were so concerned with moving mountains just for the fact that it could possibly save one person of some type, um, we would be doing things way different. I mean, society would be just ridiculously difficult to deal with. We, uh, if we wanted to save thousands of children, we could do it instantly. It would be very onerous and burdensome, but we could absolutely do it just and we'd save uh, more people than just the children. Save a lot of grown-ups too. All we have to do, make the national speed limit 25 miles per hour and uh, enforce it very strictly. Second ticket, you lose your driving privileges for a year. So you only get one shot at disobeying the 25 mile per hour speed limit. All of a sudden you'll see the deaths drop from like 50, 60,000 a year to almost nothing. 
or maybe just a few thousand at the very most. But yeah, if we're so concerned that a law is worth it, no matter how much it costs us, no matter how much burden it puts on everybody else, because it could just save one small child. You know, it it just sounds so emotionally heart-wringing that, you know, you just want to say, yes, 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 you know, jump up and down screaming, but it's actually about as stupid as stupid can be. Everything in life is a cost-benefit analysis. We've decided that it's risky to travel at certain highway speeds, 55, 65, maybe even 70 miles per hour. We absolutely know the risks. We know that it's going to pretty much guarantee that we're going to have a certain amount of deaths on the highway because we have those kind of speed limits. It's just a fact of life and we have considered that it is worth it because to do something so that this wouldn't happen would make travel so restrictive that it just would be too much for people to deal with. So, yes, lives, even lives of small children and other people of victim status that you want to mention, it's uh, they do have a price on them and we're willing to take risks and live with the fact that certain people won't come out alive just because we participate in certain things. I mean, even as safe as airline travel is, too, it's not without its risks, too. Every year, several airliners go down, and each time one goes down, several hundred people die. But in the whole scheme of things, yeah, it's probably almost impossible to say that any one person at any time is probably going to die on a in an airplane crash because it's just so unlikely. Probably might be one of those things that, like they say, more likely you'd win the lottery and win a million dollars before you'd ever be involved in a... A serious airplane crash that would injure you or kill you so if anybody has any uh, counter video they would like to make to that or dispute my logic of my argument in any way I'd uh, welcome the comment the reply the video reply whatever you would like to do ending mileage 21532.3 21532.3 